Uh, I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas of Beverly Hills, California. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about autoimmune disease and how the disease multiple sclerosis interacts with Graves' disease. Now at first, you may be thinking, well, multiple sclerosis and Graves' disease have little interaction. And that is typically true. However, a recent study looking at multiple sclerosis and the use of the drug Lemtrada demonstrated that many of those patients, in fact over half of those patients, went on to develop Graves' disease. So it's one of those things where multiple sclerosis has, is an autoimmune disease where a certain type of cell attacks the neurologic system. Well, it seems that when this drug, which is called Lemtrada, wipes out certain cells of the immune system, it causes a rebalancing of the immune system which causes Graves' disease or it pushes into more of an antibody associated autoimmunity. The immune system is often like a scale where you weight one side too much and the other side comes down and the other way and vice versa. So what happened in this study is using this drug for multiple sclerosis pushed people into having Graves' disease. Fortunately, very few of them actually had the eye disease and most of the Graves' disease was mild. But it certainly is something that if you know anyone is taking multiple sclerosis medications or if they're taking medications for other autoimmune disease to be careful because then to be checked for Graves' disease since sometimes this can be a side effect. Just so you know, autoimmune diseases tend to coalesce and that uh, people who have one autoimmune disease are much more likely to get another autoimmune disease. And that's just another thing to keep in mind as far as when you're thinking about symptoms that you have, they may or may not all be related to Graves' disease and it may be something else going on. So it's always worth thinking about these diseases and these autoimmune processes in a very thoughtful way and getting your internist or nutritionist on board with you. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.